ladies, it's me again, DJ Lady S. Thank you for tuning in. I made another project. Well, actually, I made it yesterday, Saturday, and we left to go take a drive somewhere, so I did not get a chance to upload it yesterday, so I'm uploading my project today. Again, it's another Stampin' Up! Demonstrators um, project, and again, I just can't thank you ladies enough for uploading your ideas and your tutorials and how-tos on YouTube. Because, again, I just don't have the creative uh, juices that you ladies have. But nonetheless, you have allowed me to express myself the best way that I can. And I'm having a lot of fun doing it. And so I will make a project today, but I definitely want to make sure I loaded up my video for yesterday. And what I made yesterday is the envelope album. And here's mine. Now, as you can see, my paper is upside down. Again, as a beginner, trying to do some of this stuff, I did not take in, into account that if you use a pattern paper that you have to make sure that you turn it the right way so it can turn out correctly. Now I could turn this around upside down and have it open backwards and everything but I already put my envelopes in there and this is just one way of, of a beginner to learn to do, do it the correct way. So I chose this really pretty um, tropical Hawaiian print theme paper for my album and again as you can see I use my decorative edge scissors here on my little tab there and it just opens up into this cute little album on the inside that has some pocket envelopes on the inside and you can do some journaling on this side or you know on both sides here I just use a chipboard celebrate right here and then inside these envelopes where I have um, decorated them with flowers and ribbon and everything I just put little tabs in here to just jot down a few things. Now some people are using these as a photo album and I was thinking about doing that myself but I think I'm going to use this as a birthday reminder, an anniversary reminder and I only use six envelopes but I can put two months in each envelope and you know January, February on the way through till December and just jot down either I can put down I could use this as a supply list for my card making and scrapbooking. I could use it to write down all the blog sites that I go to. I could use it as a birthday reminder or anniversary reminder. And it's just my way of just staying, um, staying up to date on the things that I, I want to send out to people. Or I could use it as a card reference to know that, say like for a friend's birthday, I sent them a birthday card and what gifts I sent them so that I know I won't repeat the same gift or if I got them a gift card or I can just write notes for different things inside of here. So this was my version of the envelope album that was shown just last week I think on the tutorial from the Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. So this is my version and it, it turned out really nice. See, my, my uh, paper is the right side on this side but when you turn it around it's upside down I'm not finished decorating it or embellishing it or anything like that but um, again I think it turned out pretty cute so there's my project for Saturday I made the envelope album so send me your comments and suggestions to my blog djladyes2011.blogspot.com or you can leave your comment here on YouTube. Thank you so much ladies and I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.